Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 159, and we are on page number. 94. Page 94, lesson number 159. This is the 59th video based on the sixth edition that I just showed you. If you're interested in doing the problems that appeared in the previous edition, which would be a very good thing to do because you'll get extra practice, you will find the solutions to all the problems from day number 1 through 80. Just type in T's day 1 and the video will pop right up. And the series goes all the way up to day 80. There are no videos from 81 through 100. We begin the new series from day 101 based on the 6th edition. Right now we are dealing with the concept of units of measurements. Units of measurements. This concept appeared in the 5th edition. And again, if you want to get extra practice on the concept of units of measurements, how to go from metric system to English system and, and, and vice versa, you will, if you, you will find that the problems were done based on this concept from day number 37 to 39, 37, 38, and 39. Just type in T's day 37 and watch these three videos. In addition to that, you will find the same topic was covered. You will find the same topic was covered in my basic math series that, uh, that you will find on my channel. Just type in basic math, nothing else. Just type in basic math day 96 and that's where you'll find some more problems dealing with units of measurements. There are 100 videos in the series all the way from day 1 through 100. The last five days of the series is when we covered the topic of units of measurements. Enough of that. Let's do that. Today, we'll just do one problem. It will take time only because we're going to learn how to do long division by hand without the help of calculator. And it's going to take some time. Okay, here we go. This is an example that you will see on page number 94 where we are being asked to convert. Where we are being asked to convert. This is an example. In page 94, we are being asked to convert 3 pounds into kilograms. Let's see what we can do. 3 pounds into kilograms. Well, we have 3 pounds to start with and the units that we want to end up with is kilograms. Okay, listen very carefully. Units that we want to end up with is kilograms. We, want, we are starting with we are starting with pounds, and we want to end with kilograms. So kilograms should go on the top here because that's we want that's what we want at the end. Kilogram. We want to get rid of this pound from the top, but we want to get rid of it. That means the pound should go on the on the bottom. Now the next part that we're going to talk about is something that you simply have to know. You have to memorize it. This is going to come from memory. You simply have to know. You simply have to know. You must know, you must memorize, that is, you must know that one kilogram is approximately 2.2 pounds. This is something you have to know, otherwise you can't do, that, do this problem. These two quantities are one and the same. So if you put one kilogram on the top and you put 2.2 pounds on the bottom, these two are equal. Since these two are equal, it's one. For example, for example, if I put, uh, if for example, if I put, uh, For example, if I put one foot on the top and 12 inches on the bottom, so how much is one foot divided by 12 inches? That's just one. Why? Because one foot is made up of 12 inches. These two quantities are equal. Since top is equal to the bottom, this whole fraction is equal to one. And therefore, if you multiply some quantity by one, it doesn't change its value. So three pound, if you multiply it by one, it doesn't change its value. Why are we doing it? Because it allows us to convert the units. Because now we have pound on the top here and the pound on the bottom, the pounds are going to cancel out and we are left with the kilogram on the top. 3 times 1 is 3 On the bottom we have 2.2 and the unit that is left is kilogram. Somehow we have to figure out this value 3 divided by 3.22 which you can do it in the calculator or you can do it out here with me here. So let's do it together. 3 divided by 2.2. Watch what happens. 
We're going to try to do it as fast as we can. Let's first multiply the top and bottom by 10. Why? We want to multiply top and bottom by 10 because I don't like the business of 2.2 at the bottom. I want a whole number at the bottom. So 2.2 divided by 2.2 times 10 is 22. And since we multiply the bottom by 10, we must multiply the top by 10, which gives us 30. Now I see 30 on the top, you see 22 on the top, 30 is an even number, 22 is an even number, let's divide top and bottom by 2. If we divide top and bottom by 2, 30 will become 15 and 22 will become 11. So, so far it is 15 over 11. And now we have to do the division by hand. So we'll do, do it out. So we have 15 divided by 11. Okay, watch what happens. 15, 15 has 1, 1 11, remainder of 4. Introduce the decimal and it becomes 40. 40 has 3 11s. 3 11s are 33. Remainder of 7. Let's take a 0 there. It becomes a 70. 70 has 6 11s. 6 11s are 66 with a remainder of 4. Well, we had a remainder of 4 before. We had a remainder of 4 before and a remainder of 4 now. What does it tell you? The same remainder appear again. You know what that tells you? As soon as you get the same remainder, as soon as you get the same remainder, that's your Q, that the pattern is going to repeat. 40 becomes, 4 becomes 40, 40 has 3 11s, 3 11s are 33, we have a 7, let's take a 0, 70 has 6 11s, 66, and 4 remainder, this goes on, it's going to go on, 1.36366366, where does it end? It never ends, it's just going to continue, 366336, it's going to continue, we are done, that's, that's your answer. So, since it's, since, since it's 1.363 is less than 5, if you want to round it with just two digits, we can simply say that 3 pound, 3 pound, we just found is approximately 1.36 kilos. 1.36 kilos. There you go, we're done. It doesn't take that much time if once you know how to do it. It doesn't take that much time. Other way we could have done it, other way we could have done it is this. Okay, I need the room again, so we have to erase this thing. Here's the second method. We have to convert, we have to convert three pounds into kilogram. Okay, that remember that. Here's the second method. Or the second method here. Or just remember, you have to remember this thing. Just remember, just remember that one pound approximately equals 0.45 kilos. Again, you simply have to know that. You simply have to memorize it. And if you do, if you did know that, the life would have been very simple because we have to convert three pounds into kilogram. We already know that one pound is three point, one pound is 0.45 kilos. So watch what happens. Watch what happens. We know what one pound is. We know one pound is approximately 0.45 kilo. How do we know it? Because we memorized it. We're not interested in one pound. We want to convert three pounds. We have 3 pounds, so multiply this side by 3. If you're going to multiply that side by 3, you must multiply this side by 3. That's it, we're done. 3 pounds is simply 0.45 times 3. And let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. And what do you suppose we're going to get? Well, we're going to get what we got before. Something very close to it. So 3 fives are 15. 5, carry 1. You see, it's going to be 1.35 instead of 3, 6. That's all. 4 3 is a 12 plus 1 is 4 3 is a 12 plus 1 is 13. 1 or rather 13. 13 is 3 and then we decimal carry 1. Don't, let's not make it this complicated, okay? Let's not make it this complicated. Just multiply 45 by 3. Multiply 45 by 3. 4 5 is a 3 5 is a 15. 5 carry 1. 12, 12 3 is a 12. 4 3 is a 12 plus 1 is 13. And now introduce the decimal which is much easier than doing what I was doing before. It's not 45, it is 0.45. Decimal is here. One and two places. We have to move it two places. Your decimal right now is here. Pick it up and move it. One and two. 1.35. The answer we're saying, what we're saying is that three pound is approximately 1.35 kilos. Three pound is approximately 1.35 or rather 3 pounds is approximately 1.35 kilos and before we said 1.36 kilos it's the same thing, it's close enough 
you're not going to get the exact answer both ways because it's an approximation 2.2 that is doing here another reason is because here it goes on forever what would be the exact answer what would have been the exact answer but well, there is no exact answer it goes on forever as i said it never ends i'll see you tomorrow okay i know